my mentality is ghetto. A gorilla in this criminal war, we all rebels. Death before the sun, I bet I bomb on them first. Niggas knew we came for murder, pulling up in a hearse. West side was the war cry, busting off freely, screaming fuck. All y'all niggas in Swahili. Now I see standing me and me now, where? And I'm like, it's where when I mean. All of a sudden, we talking Swahili. She feeling hot and I'm kissing Barini. Edit the whole rest of the world. This is what I think, like. I've always thought, like, if I wanted to get away from the world and be comfortable and happy and enjoy, I could go to Africa. I don't know where to go to Africa where I could just disappear. You know what I mean? And I'd be living. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, living. Nice. Nobody yeah. would even know. So yeah. it's like, why not? You might as well bring Michael Jackson into this topic yeah. because it's like, you've been there, you've paid your time, you gave people love, you gave people music to live on for it. Till the end of time. You paid your dues. You paid yeah. your dues. Why not sign out like that? You don't have to actually die. You, it's not that you yourself as a human died. Which what died is you as a musician. You know what I mean? So if that's what they want, that's what they're gonna do. Like if they were to do that, I wouldn't be surprised. You wouldn't be. You surprised. know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know reasons why somebody would have wanted somebody dead. You know what I mean? Pac and Michael Jackson, they. We're speaking on stuff that people don't speak about. They were talking about stuff like telling people stuff about the world that people who are involved in what goes on in the world are like, why are you telling people this? We already have people thinking like this. You know what I mean? That's why my television and cable has expanded to like nothing you've ever seen. I believe television and stuff is, is there and put in a society to control people because people are going to be like, you know what? At 8 o'clock, I got to watch this show. 9 o'clock, I got this show. You're structured. You, that's what you're going to do. Like, I don't watch all this TV. Like, I live in my own world. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. I finished college, so it's like I move by the day. You know what I mean? But everything is centered around music. So funny. Yeah. It's kind of I used to remember. I said I used to remember. Looking for light, be the light that's found in the dark, and that's where I start. Yeah. And that's what we brought, cause my first bracket is sitting number one straight on the top. And we know who we are, beyond the atmosphere, yo, I lay with the stars. Cause the women out for me, the men the men out for more. Goodness is a fall, down to my Africa, the Qatar. Bottoms up, I'm raising the roof on the bar. Riding National cards with national cards. U.S. where I stand, by the way of UK. Africa, we united today. Yeah, it was the engineer. Like, what's crazy about it is, like, I, you know what I mean? I went to college at Hampton University and I was able to run into Professor Earl, you know what I mean? And I was able to, you know, really push my music to the point. She believed in me so much. I was the first student that she signed. You know what I mean? Professor Earl is really close with, you know, Layla at Steinberg. And, you know, she'd been there a couple of times. She, like, really noticed me. And then, you know, I was always in the studio in Virginia Beach every day. And there's an engineer by the name of Paul Arnold who was out there. And coincidentally, like, I would always go to the studio in Virginia Beach, man, and I would see the Tupac plaques on his wall. You know, um, Me Against the World, he makes some songs on that. Like, he, he recorded Christina Aguilera, Genie in the Bottle. Like, he recorded her when he did. He was telling me the story about how, like, she sold a million copies, but I only made $600 off that because he was just recording her. He was being an engineer. You know, and for the fact that he mixed and recorded Pac when he was alive, like, I think he says he still has, like, when he was, like, 8-tracks, he still has tapes for me when he recorded that time. And I'm pretty sure he had some of Pac stuff that somewhere in there that he was just messing around and messed up on or something like that. You know what I mean? And the fact that he took, like, he knew how much, like, I looked up to Pac. Like, Pac, you know, I've been listening to him since I was young. Like, you know what I mean? Like, his story, like, his poetic ability was just, like, I felt that. You know what I mean? So when I did this one song, Cry For You, which was reflecting on how I feel, like, out of all the people in Africa, why am I the one to be chosen 
to be able to be here. Like, you know what I mean? Out of all my cousins, why was I the one that my family was able to come to America? You know what I mean? And I was able to do all this. And the fact that he mixed Tupac Dear Mama and he mixed my song Cry For You. Nowhere to go, yo, what you gonna do? Nowhere to go, where no one loves you. Can't feel the pain that I've been through. All the tears I cry, I cry for you. Nowhere to go, yo, what you gonna do? Nowhere to go, where no one loves you. Can't feel the pain that I've been through. All the tears I cry, I cry for you. Nothing to eat, no clothes on their back, no shoes on their feet, eh I don't understand why God chose me, eh Cause out of all of them, they couldn't be me, eh But now I see God's play I said I have to be that man I said I gotta stand beyond and above, eh No more struggle, yo, I've had enough I said no more pain, no more sins and lanes Pay the price of fame and through me now Africa The world will feel our pain And when he mixed it and he finished it, he was like, yo, you know what? That's something Pac would have liked. And for him to say something like that to me, that was like deep. You know what I mean? Like, he recorded Tupac Shakur. You know what I mean? Like, that's not... Like, he's a legend. Like, people always say top two rappers, Biggie and Pac. You know what I mean? So to have anybody that's been in his presence, like, recorded him, like, hit record, like... You know what I mean? Like, seeing him smoking weed, chilling, like, you know what I mean, in the environment. I'm like, damn, what is it like? Like, he always gets on me for bringing a lot of people in. In the studio, I'm like, well, man, he was in the studio with Pac, and you know how Pac goes wild, too, you know what I mean? But for him to say that about Cry For You really meant a lot to me, you know what I mean? Because, like, he put that same energy. And I know he mixed it more than I paid him to do it, you know what I mean? Because he felt the record, it's like, you know what I mean? You're doing a message song. Like, not a lot of people have the heart to sing a message song because they're more afraid of people not accepting them. And it's all about more sales. But when you can do stuff that you feel and you believe in, like, if you don't feel it in your heart, people aren't going to feel it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I do a song, like, I feel it. So I know when I perform it, you're going to feel what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Like, I can say, put one hand up, you can put one hand up. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just crazy. Like, I'm speaking through my cousins. Like, my cousins are always happy to talk to their friends in Kenya and tell them, like, you know what I mean? That's my cousin doing this thing. Like, you know what I mean? I go out there and chill with them. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing. You know what I mean? I miss home. It's like... It's definitely a, a privilege to be in America and perform in front of people and fans. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't even have to survive in the American world. Like, I'm surviving right now just off my African shows. Like, my African fan base. Like, you know what I mean? People, like, who feel me, like, supporting me on BT. Like, they was watching that, taking, like, time to vote. You, since I've been here, that show I just did, people coming up to me like, yo, I voted for you. Five people coming to me like, yo, I voted for you when you did that. You know what I mean? And I'm in L.A. You know what I mean? Most of the time I'm in New York, D.C., Maryland, so I'm all on the West Coast, and somebody knows me, you know what I mean? Like, that's deep to me. Baby boy, can you be my man? Take me to the motherland. Hey, DJ, jump that. I got put one hand up. Yo, we gonna rock like this, yo. Hey, 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 hey. I said, so they say. All of a sudden we talk it's wildly She feeling hot and I'm spitting my reedy That means go and I'm so known Press see us and everywhere we show Like they and be and if I ain't so you never be lonely lonely Cause I don't view myself as like I'm just people say you're humble and all this It's like it's not like I'm trying to be humble It's like I don't know no better than that, you know what I mean? It's like, that's how we were raised. It's like, as an African man, like, you want to go out there, you come to America, don't embarrass where you're from. Don't embarrass who you are, you know what I mean? So it's like, you're African, you got to come in and represent. So it's like, why not be humble? Like, why would I ever act? Because I still got family that's struggling. When I can say, like, I took every single family member out of Kenya, or I helped everybody out, and then, you know what I mean? Like, I contributed like that. That's why I'm like, yo, I can talk, because I did that. You know what I mean? Like, I took people out of that. 
when you do that, that's when you know you can do it. You know what I mean? That's what Pac did. That's what the Longombas do. You know what I mean? They, yeah. you know what I mean? They. He was telling me the story. He could tell it much better than I can about how you guys, you know what I mean, did that. And you guys got the trucks and you told people to come out and bring food. And they had like yeah. five trucks full of food to take to people. You know what I mean? Like to take the time out to do some stuff like that. That's real, man. And it's not too many people out there doing that. More people is like, you know what I mean? You get a quick, you know, two Gs to do a show. Let me go do that, do that, man. But it's like, you're not doing enough for your people. Like, we sit there and talk with people, have conversations with people. Like, certain celebrities or artists, no matter where you're big at in the world, they come out and be like, you know, you know, I'm that guy, you know, only eat here. Uh, I mean, it's like, why? You know what I mean? There's people out there don't even have nothing at all. So yeah. why am I going to trip about just having, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's whatever. Give me a burger. Let's go do the show. I'm going to do the show, you know what I mean? I'll pay. You pay. Everybody's happy. Let's have a good time. Yeah. Let's enjoy, you know what I mean? for a greater purpose. It's like, I'm not out here like influencing people. You know what I mean? Like, even if you do a song, like I did a song called African Shot, it's not like I'm trying to say I'm trying to be a shot to like, I'm trying to go kill murder people. It's like, I don't follow no rules. You know what I mean? There's no guidelines. I just follow my vibes and my energy. Like, nobody tells me how to do this, how to do that. It's like, this is what I feel like doing. This is what I'm feeling. That's how I feel in my heart and soul. So that's what I'm going to push out. Appreciate sure. it. Yeah! <laughs> it's the African Tin Conjure, eh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do it one more time like this? Oh, shit. I said I'm turned up, I'm turned up. Shorty say she tipsy. Word. So every chick a different world, yeah, yeah, with it. African mula so stupid it's silly Purple on deck we call it silly uh, Only boss in the game will come through talking on Swahili yeah. Now where we? Who jolly for nation? Keep you Hit my flow is fly I be flying yeah on keep you Me I am a Kenyan I'm coming from Nairobi Like You know what I mean? Like the producer that I've been working with This guy named Chef He's, he's Nigerian man African producer Like he He is a dude like amazing me because he he works in the hospital. What he does for a living, like he, like brings people back to life if they're dying. Like he does that for a living. Like you know what I mean? Like he's used to this. And then he comes home, and he's making beats. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about like just beats, man. I'm talking about like hits. This, I'm gonna say one thing. A real artist. This is one thing that amazes a lot of people. A lot of people go like, "Wow, how does he come up?" Or how do the, does a certain person come up with a song after a song that's good? You know, he always comes up with, or a certain group, you know what I'm saying? A certain group is known for always coming up with good music. It is not because they just want songs, you know? A lot of people just want songs, but people don't want to hear songs. People want to hear good music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists come up to me and tell me, oh, you know what, man, look. I got, I got this and this, I got these three books, they full of lyrics, you know what I'm saying, it, it show, oh, that shows, it's good, you know what I'm saying, it shows that you're dedicated, you know what I'm saying, you put in time to work, you know, it means you love doing what you're doing, but the question is, you know, are you practicing the right way, you know, because sometimes we, we can work hard sometimes, yeah. You know, when we're passionate for something, we can work really hard. We can wake up every morning, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep fit, you know, to be fit enough for what we do. You know what I'm saying? But if we're not working out the proper way, if we're not doing things the right way, you know what I'm saying? It'll still be a waste of time. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, everything is all synced. You know what I mean? Like, the way I linked up with you, him, it's like it's all synced. But it all happened because of me following my vibes, what I believe in, what I want to do. But if I slacked off once, one thing would have changed the whole direction of my timeline. Sure. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you're in control and your belief and what you feel in the world and how you feel. It's like nobody can tell you who you are, what you believe in. You know. You know what I mean? So that's crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Yeah. yeah, it's the African King. I like this. Cedric Muhammad, I, I know you, yeah. Gave me a couple tracks and I came across this one. I was like, yo, let me go in on this. I said, I know you got that feeling, yeah. 